Hey guys, Matt here with Chaos Art. Today we'll be showing you how to set up dual monitors with your computer and another screen. I know it sounds so exciting, I'm excited, you're excited, let's get to it. Basically, you, all you have to have is a computer, you can see mine right here. Your computer has to have an HDMI port, as you can see right there, or a VGA port, as you can see right there. Both of these work, um, only HDMI will give you um, audio on the other screen. And I personally like HDMI, it's easier to work with, smaller cord, definitely, um, and a lot better quality. So, first of all, you just plug up your HDMI cord or VGA cord into your computer, as you saw I have mine set up, and then plug it into your TV and or other monitor. So, I'm going to get up, come over here. You can see it's just running straight from my computer over to my TV. See, I have it plugged up into the back of my TV. You can either plug it up there, there, or side. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same to me. Um, this one personally does have a VGA connection. There it is right there. HDMI is right below it. So that's just for a TV. If you have a computer, it should look something like this over here. VGA cord into the back, and then the other VGA cords into my monitor right now. But if you unplugged it from the computer and plugged it into your computer, your other computer, um, the same thing works that way. So now if you have that set up correctly it should look like this. You have one screen there, you have another screen there. But let's say you don't want to have a repeated screen. Let's say you wanted to have one really big screen. Then you have to go into your computer and change a few settings on there. So I'll be back on my computer in just a second. Hey guys, back on my computer now. I'm going to be showing you how to set up these dual monitors where one is on top and one is on bottom. So first of all, you just go to your start menu, go to control panel, appearance and personalization, connect to an external display, and you should get a screen just like this. If you have anything that looks a little bit different, you're probably using Windows XP, a Macintosh, or Linux. I do not know how to do it on those other operating systems, but this is Windows 7, so upgrade. But from here, all you have to do is go to multiple displays, extend these displays, and then you should get a screen just like this. If you have a screen just like this, you're pretty much good. But the thing is, unless you have your TV or other monitor right beside your computer, this won't work for you because you have to scroll your mouse off the side of the screen and that's just weird when you're going up above your computer. So to fix this, all you have to do is apply. Then it shows you what it looks like on the other screen, but you can't see that. And then just click OK. So now that I have these settings applied, it moved my second monitor to the top. Yours would normally still be on the side and it would look somewhat like this. All you have to do is click it and drag it above it and just adjust it however you have your screens setting. So, if you have your second monitor on top of your first monitor, go ahead and click apply again. And OK. And all you have to do is move your mouse off the top of the screen and it goes up into your second monitor. If you have your screen side by side, you can adjust it to be side by side to whichever side it is. Your second monitor is the computer monitor or the TV that you're connecting to, your first monitor is always your computer. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this was helpful. Please comment and subscribe.